So the next speaker is a Dr. Candida from Medical Force. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Ji Tae-kyung. I'm an orthodontist and the head doctor of a orthodontic clinic in Korea. These are pictures of my clinic. And I'm also co-representative of general, bi uh, general bioscience. And I'm a father of three boys. Today, I'm going to briefly explain my business. The Human Genome Project gave us a glimpse into the future. DNA testing has the ability to identify people's susceptibility to genetic disease and make individualized treatment plans. However, due to various issues, access to DNA testing is still limited for ordinary people. The Medical Post Chain Project aims to predict susceptibility to disease and develop treatments by utilizing free DNA testing. Holders of Ampos coin, which will be issued by a uh, medical force chain, will have easy and secure access to a wide range of medical services, including DNA testing. Uh, all of these services will be provided free of charge to the Ampos coin holders. DNA testing of Yourself, your family will prevent serious illness like cancer, chronic disease like diabetes, uh, and mass infectious disease like MERS. The other thing we are paying attention to is PET DNA data. Over the past few years, uh, there has been a great progress in predicting disease uh, through human gene diagnosis. However, as a path, there has not been such great interest in the field. Pictures Web is a comprehensive health examination program through genes, the environment, existing microorganisms and pathogens, etc. In which general bioscience spent at least seven years R&D. Such a disease prediction through genes and microorganism diagnosis is also possible for pets. There are various microorganisms and pathogens that are unique to dogs and cats. Among them, approximately 10 types of microorganisms, viruses, uh, pathogens, can develop into fetal disease uh, depending on the genetic characteristic, characteristics of the pets. In the case of dogs, approximately 40 types of disease can be predicted according to their uh, genetic characteristics. Uh, brain tumor, Alzheimer, uh, lifestyle disease as uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, heart and vascular disease, uh, including uh, myocardial infarction, arteriosclerosis, uh, female hormone disease as uh, premature births, pregnancy, toxemia, inframammary infection, septicemia, etc. And oral disease, including uh, oral bacterial infection, halitosis. Human, dogs, and cats are very different in structure. And in the case of pets, the types, generators, testing methods, uh, treatment methods, and uh, the research of their disease is still at a very early stage. 
for example, testing of disease with uh, blood and urine samples of animals is based on testing with that of humans. While the result uh, can uh, resemble that of humans, the impact on humans can be very different. For instance, while the microorganism uh, Ophelomonas gingivalis is malignant for two humans, the possibility of its influence on animals is very low. Likewise, there are several animal health checkup programs that are yet to be verified. The data that they are based on is very weak. Peter's lab is able to analyze very di various diseases very accurately by analyzing genes, microorganisms, and pathogens together. Also, Peter's lab examines skin genes to predict very generic and environmental skin disease, skin disease including atopy. We will also include pet DNA data in the MPOS ecosystem. Medical post chain will also create HP point to be used within the MPOS ecosystem. This HP can be received continuously as long as you hold MPOS coins. HP can be used for free DNA testing and various medical services. DNA test reports will predict your future disease. The DNA data derived from testing will be distributed securely through the blockchain. Using clipped DNA data, disease labs and pharmaceutical companies will produce customized treatment and medicine for individual disease. The various benefits uh, generated during this process will be distributed free of charge to impose coin holders by way of medical treatment and healthcare programs. Impose coin holders will uh, receive healthcare services and make profits uh, through coin transactions. Glimpse into the future on the medical force chain platform. Your healthy and prosperous future await. Thank you very much for your attention. We help fund, build, and localize tech startups in the world's most promising regions. Cinefy is a one-stop solution for tech companies trying to make sense of China and Southeast Asia. Check out more at cinefy.group. Current revenue-generating methods don't allow publishers and businesses to offer an enjoyable, ad-free browsing experience. We need a new solution that brings everything together to benefit businesses and users alike. That's why we made Gather. 
Gather is a blockchain-based network that improves the online experience for users, generates additional revenue for publishers, reduces cloud computing costs for enterprises, and makes running a proof-of-work blockchain easier. Instead of spamming users with ads to generate revenue, Gather runs in the background of your site and, with each user's consent, aggregates their idle processing power. Then, it distributes said power to enterprises for cloud computing and to developers for cryptocurrency mining. Publishers receive payment in cryptocurrency or fiat, users get to enjoy an ad-free browsing experience, and developers deploy their secure blockchains without the need to find new miners. Ultimately, it's a virtuous cycle that radically changes digital monetization and revenue generation to provide a superior experience for the end user. Join Gather today to be a part of the future. So, in our summit, there are a lot of different representatives from different NFT platforms and marketplaces, but now we have a unique person. He's an artist, Mera Takeru. Greetings. Hello, nice to meet you all. I'm Mera Takel, a Japanese clipped artist. I'm a 31 years old male, living in a place called Shizuoka Prefecture, Japan. I have been tokenized and publishing my own digital art since April 2019. I have been officially recognized as an artist by major platforms such as Super Rare, Normal Legion, and Maker's Place, and have sold over 250 pieces of NFT art by the end of 2020. Following the global NFT craze since the first half of the, this year, I have announced collaborations with various companies and artists, and I'm focusing on activities to promote Japanese NFT art to the world. I came across an iOS app called Additional in April of 9, 2019. Until then, I had only participated in a few ICOs and played blockchain games, but had never created a digital art pieces. However, additional made it surprisingly easy for me to convert the image in my iPhone camera roll into NFT in no time. I was so fascinated by its ease and innovation that I started editing and manipulating photos, photos every day to publishing my digital art NFTs. In the process, I met many wonderful people as you may have already noticed. I am not a good English speaker, so I repeatedly exchanged message with overseas artists using translators and other tools. I enjoyed uh, exchanging opinion about each other's works and creating collaborative works. The experience of have, having my work seen and praised by people from overseas whom I had never met before was very valuable to me. I then began to create it and publishing publish my work on different platforms such as Super Rare and Normal Legion. 
they are two themes in my work. Uh, transforming the familiar into something special and bringing Japanese culture to the world. This may be because the uh, beginning of my clipped art was the camera roll in my iPhone. I hope to move the hearts and those who see it by adding new value to what they are using to sing. I also have a strong desire to bring the unique culture of Japan to the world. When I started Additional, there were no other Japanese clip artists working. So I felt that my own culture and identity were valuable. My friends around me also loved the beauty and precision of the Japanese style. In May of this year, I launched a project called 36 blocks of Fuji with my fellow engineers. The project is to divide Hokusai Katsushika's Ukiyoe Great Wave into 36 blocks, uh, six by six, uh, each of which will be colored freely by 36 amazing Japanese digital artists. And finally, combined to create a new ukiyo-e. Uh, do you understand what I'm saying? It's very difficult to, to explain in words. It's hard to explain in words. Uh, anyway, I wanted to express the ancient splendor of Japan and the diversity and freedom of the current Japanese artist in one piece. This work was completed in September and the auction was successfully, successfully held the other day. The finished product is much more diverse than I accepted. And I'm very happy to have been able to create a completely new ukiyo-e. I will continue to work not only as an artist, but also as a project manager. Uh, collector, curator, or educator. I believe that the blockchain will enable real new artistic activities that no one has seen yet. I still have many new ideas in my head that have yet to take shape in order to make this a reality. I will continue to gather information on a daily basis and create it art that will leave a lasting impression and people. Uh, do you own any Clipped art. Who are your favorite clipped artists? I have created over 500 pieces of art and own about over 2,000 pieces of art. Clipped art will continue to evolve and diversity as it is combined with the latest technology. Don't miss out this movement. And I hope you will engage with this culture in any way you like. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Theta Network.
earn T-Fuel crypto rewards simply by watching live streams and videos. As you watch and share with others, you're contributing to the decentralized Theta network, all powered by Theta's native blockchain. Discover the future of video delivery at thetanetwork.org. So the next guest is Haroldas Pokalniskis, CEO at Broccoli Network. Hello, Haroldas. Hey guys, it's nice to be here. Uh, Haroldas from Broccoli Network here. A bit about me, I come from something to do with a sustainability uh, background working with green startups in traditional markets and in the you know in the previous months i've shifted to crypto and now i'm building the future of green, green crypto why you might be interested is because i've worked with companies like nike lavata adidas paypal among others you might know and the previous company i built was actually a venture accelerator for green and sustainability companies in the e-commerce space. So how that business worked was we provided funding plus marketing to the portfolio companies. So we were able to take them from low revenues of 10 to 30,000 per month to revenues of six figures every single month. And eventually, you know, crypto started booming and we started advising Crypto, crypto startups on marketing as well. And that's how we entered the space of my partner, Matas, who, co who comes from a venture capital experience, uh, being able to support the green startups through venture funding. So today, what I want to talk to you about is something that's very relevant to each and every one of us, crypto markets. You know, if we look at crypto markets, there's one pattern that we might have seen this year, and that's sustainability issues. Uh, crypto is not green, and that's an issue that's hurting every single one of us. But uh, there are actually solutions to that, to which you know we we're going to look into today. So, uh, a bit of a background is uh, you know we have to discuss what's the underlying thing for for how the markets are being affected and how you can use that to formulate a strong position in today's market in crypto. So a few things that you need to know is if we look at the negative impact that crypto is making, and we'll come to how you can use that for yourself, but you know, the background is every single dollar of cryptocurrency value created is responsible for 0.66 in health and climate damages. And with that, you know, the problem is um, every single token, every single project is damaging the earth. And that's not, that's not a very sustainable way to build a, a, an industry, right? You know, we're at an industry of probably $2 trillion right now, but that's the market cap of Apple, basically, you know? So that's the whole crypto market is the size of Apple. So that's, that's you know, that's not, if we, if we face sustainability issues like that, that's not really the way to build long-term success. To put things into another perspective is if uh, DeFi and uh, crypto was adopted globally, every single transaction that you make, say if you go to buy your cup of coffee at a local coffee shop, um, every single coffee you buy with Ethereum would produce more than 800,000 uh, transaction worth of Visa transactions and environmental footprint. So, you know, one, one Ethereum transaction is more than 100,000 Visa transactions. You know, that's like you equaling a full stadium of people. So, you know, the numbers of negative impact is big, but today's, today's keynote is not about uh, negativity. You know, it's actually how can you use that to make your business uh, stronger in these markets and how you can actually leverage the, uh, the narrative uh, for yourself. So, um, you know, the thing, the thing with that is uh, 
because of sustainability issues, crypto markets are always crashing, you know? Um, how that works is back in May, probably every single one of us, you know, suffered uh, the most uh, emotionally challenging crash we have seen in the past in the past years. And that was, you know, when Elon Musk tweeted, uh, Tesla is no longer accepting Bitcoin. So, you know, that crashed the markets uh, from all the way up to all the way down again. So essentially uh, where that goes is, uh, the, you know, we were at basically 60,000 at Bitcoin value, then Elon Musk tweets and, you know, we crash and then, uh, People are starting to say that maybe Tesla is selling Bitcoin. We crash further, then there's China, uh, there, there's then there's be regulation in China uh, again against against sustainability and because you know Bitcoin is not a sustainable currency, and then the markets crash. So uh, you know the the everlasting effect of that is felt by every single one of us, and uh, you know. Basically, until we can solve this, um, the situation is not going to change. You know, now we're getting, we're having very good markets, but the question is, how long can they last if the issues are not solved? But but there are solutions. You know, so um, to look at the audience of which actually cares about these issues is, uh, you know, why that should be relevant to you is. If we look at uh, audience statistics, around 90% of Gen Zers, uh, so you know, most of my, basically not nine out of 10 of the young people think that companies must be the ones leading the way to a more sustainable future, to uh, the future being more green. And uh, if we look at millennials, a bit of an older demographic, 70% of them uh, care about uh, global global warming. So you know that's seven out of ten. So with Gen Zers, we have nine out of ten of people caring about it, and seventy seven out of ten of millennials also caring about it. But the key is these are the two demographics that are in the audience that's into crypto. So that's exactly the audience that me, you, everyone is dealing with. Um, so you know exactly these two audiences are our crypto users and the, and the future crypto users that are only going to enter crypto in the months to come. So how can we solve all of this and how can we start appealing to those markets to get a larger user base and uh, to get more appeal in front of our communities? Well, that's uh, green solutions. And uh, there's actually a few of them. So, you know, one is green energy blockchain mining. Uh, there are blockchains that are striving to be more green, net energy positive. Uh, and, you know, how that happens is you either have the blockchain computing done in a way that's less environmentally damaging or more environmentally friendly, or what we can do is, you know, mine with solar power, um, produce electricity and other green energy sources. <clears throat> But, you know, the big thing that's coming is, of course, POS, you know, proof of stake. Once that comes, the Ethereum 2.0, you know, the situation, the, the whole conversation is, uh, is going to be, to be much more friendly towards crypto. But the thing is, if we look at those two solutions, you know, blockchains, they're kind of limiting us as companies, right? So we either have to wait for a blockchain to come out with a specific solution, or we have to adapt the whole narrative of the company, the whole uh, tech structure to, of a company to a green blockchain if we want to change that, which is of course relatively hard to do, or we can actually start working with or integrating green projects. So there are projects that are actually making crypto in the landscape that we have right now, climate positive and every one of us can work with those projects or even become one of them. For example, you know, we kind of figured out a way that uh, there's not a lot of people moving in the space yet. So the whole market is untapped. And now if we look at the market potential of this, it's actually 40 trillion euros dollars, you know, uh, looking at traditional finance, in traditional finance, uh, green assets are actually the biggest asset class. Green assets are an industry worth 40 trillion US dollars over the past decade. 
in traditional finance, that has been the asset class that has been growing the fastest. And it has made the most millionaires and billionaires in the past decade. So, you know, that has been always uh, over the past years, the biggest uh, trend and the biggest conversation in traditional markets. But in crypto, that conversation isn't really starting yet. So the whole market is up for the taking, right? So, uh, and there's everything that can be done. Green NFTs, uh, green DeFi, um, green game file all of that can be still done because it's in very very early stages so for example you know a solution that we have figured out that can help the industry is um giving nfts since you know nfts are the biggest thing right now uh, if people make positive impact they get an nft right so there are a few points to how this works essentially Every company, meaning if you are a NFT project or if you are a DeFi project or if you are a GameFi project or similar, even if you're in centralized finance but in crypto, you can adopt a solution um, that makes your uh, platform climate positive. And you know, that solution, it's, uh, it's, and you know, uh, Broccoli is just one, just one of the companies doing it, but uh, there, there's like different solutions in the space that you can look into. Essentially, there are solutions that can provide uh, something like planting trees for you and then give you the green narrative to utilize and you know, use uh, for the better of your marketing. So essentially, for example, the solution that we figured out is, you know, Companies can partner with us and every single tree uh, that's planted is attributed to the company if that tree is planted through the partner company. So, so you know, on the partner platform, it's a very simple integration that, uh, you know, you just, you just have ba basically like a line of, in, in the design on the front end of your platform that says, yes, I want to become climate positive. To the user, it's an extra cost of $1.5 per transaction worth of native tokens. To the company, there is absolutely no cost. Now, if we look at the airline industry, around 10% of people um, opt in to the solution to become climate positive, and that actually produces tens of millions for the planet. So that's, uh, that's actually what we're doing just for NFT, GameFi, and DeFi projects. And, uh, you know, the thing with this is for your company, it's a way to become climate positive at no extra cost. And then there's a leaderboard that, that shows, you know, company X made this amount of impact by climbing this amount of trees, company Y planted this amount of trees and et cetera, et cetera. And then you can, you know, if you're making a lot of positive impact, which to you is a no extra cost, it's a solution to your customers. Then your customers can see that you're actually caring about the issues that are interesting to them, to the Gen Zers and to the millennials, and you are a company that's listening to your audience. So that's, uh, that's how it works, you know, and, uh, and essentially it's something that every one of us can, can, can you know, figure out how to do. Uh, the thing is, you just have to look into what's damaging the earth. And for that, you know, there are three different areas that blockchain is damaging, and that's electronic waste, energy consumption, and carbon footprint. Now, how can you solve that? How can you solve that is essentially, you know, with electronic waste, you know, because of mining, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of computer waste. How is that solved? Is by e-waste recycling projects. Uh, those are mostly in Asia where most of the mining hotspots are, then there is energy consumption that we have to look into. Uh, so those are solved by renewable energy projects, uh, for example, solar energy, and then there's carbon footprint that is produced uh, by the space. How do you solve car carbon footprint? You plant trees. So say, if you guys wanted to, uh, to go climate positive, how you do that is uh, you seek out, um, the areas that you can fund and uh, and you contribute to them so you know these are the three areas that are the most essential 
if you want to contribute to actually solving the problem. And these are the areas that, you know, your audience, Gen Zers and millennials are going to be interested in. So how can you use that to the betterment of your company? Well, you know, there are two ways to, to do this. You know, one is you seek out uh, the projects that are doing work in these areas and you support them hands-on. In that, you know, maybe it's a cost of a company, maybe there's another structure that you can work on, uh, but that's actually very viable. Uh, for tree planting, you can look into Africa. In Africa, you can plant trees for 0 0.5 dollars per tree. And, you know, that's very cost efficient for a thousand dollars to plant 2,000 trees, which is a lot of impact. In Western countries, it's much more expensive. So the best, uh, the best continent to look into is Africa. Now for uh, energy consumption, you know, you want to be sponsoring solar energy. For electronic waste, uh, there's traditional e-waste recy recycling charities. Or you can look into the solutions that are actually providing these, these uh, options for you and maybe in a way that is a no extra cost for the company. So for example, there is the Energy Web Foundation that actually is working towards decarbonizing the space. And, uh, you know, their goal is making crypto green by 2030. So what you can do is you can become a member of the green, green Crypto Accord that's organized by the Energy Web Foundation. And once you are a member of the Green Crypto Accord, you basically commit to becoming a net climate positive by 2030. So uh, that's, you know, those are the solutions that you can look into. Now, if you guys, you know, are looking uh, to, 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 to become more active movers in the space, uh, there are always companies looking to partner to help you do that. One of them is Broccoli Network. You know, uh, pardon, my, uh, pardon me tooting my own horn, but uh, you know, our mission is to help other companies become climate positive, And we have all of the solutions developed for that. So, you know, we can help you uh, either get in touch with the right partners uh, for you to become climate positive, or we can provide all of these solutions uh, that are going to um, that are going to provide the marketing materials and all of the background for you to become climate positive. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know today's message is short, but it's a very important message, and that is that you know we've all seen markets are tending to crash if they are not sustainable. How you can solve that is you can become a part of that. And, uh, you know, that's going to be the future. Gen Zers and millennials are the ones interested in that. And you can tap into the market while it's still, <clears throat> while the market is still very early. So, you know, my wish is uh, try tapping into the market and see how it goes. You know, the, the potential is unlimited. You know, 40 trillion in green assets in traditional finance, in crypto, it's the whole market is up for the taking. So that's the message for today. And thank you guys for tuning in.
bears and bulls are the two driving forces of the crypto market, depending on who buys and who sells. The bear is superpower is to make money even when the market is down. Bear's strategy is selling short and provoking a supply increase. The bull, the whole bull's life is dealings for a rise. His main goal is a growing market. Bull is optimistic and pluckily beats first. The confrontation of bulls and bears lasts forever and as its price depends on who leads the fight. The next speakers are from Digital. It's Edward Maisey, financial advisor at Digital, and Dmitry Shulko, advisor at Digital. Hello, guys. Hello, everyone. I'm glad to see you today. Uh, my name is Mitri Shalutko. I'm the CEO of Bioeconomy.com, Canadian cryptocurrency exchange. And I'm also acting as advisor for TGDAO Launchpad project. I uh, actually uh, joined the, the team because uh, I'm looking for a great potential of this project. And today I want to talk with you about the uh, project details. And uh, during my speech, I also want you uh, to share some kind of opinions uh, about importance of cooperation in the blockchain and crypto world. Because all of you uh, actually know what uh, there is no uh, like uh, uh, there is no idea and there is no uh, uh, how crypto market can't exist without a community and without a community cooperation. And it also uh, work in any sphere, not only cryptocurrency, but especially uh, when we see where good communities of a project, where, when we see good communities around some products based on blockchain and cryptocurrency, uh, we see a good performance and good potential of these products and projects. So I want to, uh, to uh, tell more uh, about this part of uh, cooperation and importance. So uh, let me just start and uh, the first topic. So why cooperation is important in our uh, daily life. So um, it's actually, um, uh, let me tell you some, here's a real world example, what were very clearly uh, demonstrates the importance of cooperation. So it's an example of uh, uh, 65,000 uh, Bitcoin. Uh, so one well-known corporate, uh, corporate uh, game organizer decided to conduct an experiment. Uh, he gathered a group of people in one room and said what anyone present uh, right now could uh, win one Bitcoin. And the rules of the game were simple. Organizer reveals their phone number and participant have one a minute to send a text message containing the words, I want one Bitcoin. Uh, but there was an important detail. If two messages arrive, uh, where two people who sent it uh, receive one Bitcoin. If only one text message arrives, uh, no one gets anything. Uh, if there are more than two text messages, when again, no one gets anything. So do you want to know uh, what happened in the end? Uh, no one ever won a single Bitcoin because either zero messages were sent or more than two were sent the organizers phone. So now let's imagine what the group worked together and assigned two people to send one text message each when all of the participants could, could have a one Bitcoin and shared it amongst themselves. So you see how cooperation uh, actually uh, can help to benefit for one person or for a group of people. 
So that's why it's important to build the cooperation networks between each person, between each community member. And cooperation actually allows you to achieve real results where working alone cannot. And uh, let's take a look uh, for another example from the world of cryptocurrency. Uh, so all of you probably remember how a group of uh, small investors uh, when we went up against the Wall Street and drove GameStop's uh, stock price to unprecedented highs in a matter of hours. So the situation was what was stock price in just two days uh, soared almost uh, 500% from $62 on January 25th, uh, 2021 to $347 on January 27, 20, uh, 2021. So mob mentality was at work here. Investors uh, didn't understand what way we were uh, doing and simply succumbed to the mob and went along with it. So most launchpad participants operate by this same principle uh, today. We simply support the general uh, mood of the market and follow the crowd. So we don't have our own opinion uh, and we don't think about having our um, own opinion. And we don't want to look around. We just follow the crowd. Uh, so what distinguishes mob mentality from cooperation? Uh, cooperation is always uh, orderly and participants in a coordinated way. Because uh, if you organize, if you go in the same way as a, uh, like with leader or with whole crowd, but you know where, where are you going, uh, you actually can reach the goal, what you actually pointed for you. At the same time, if your project uh, lead by an unruly crowd, it doesn't matter what technology you use or how promising it is. Because uh, uh, if crowd going uh, the wrong way or you can't lead the crowd and control it, uh, it uh, it's actually can ruin everything what you're building and ruin any technology, any uh, like profitable model, any profitable platform. So this is what uh, how like mentality and psychology uh, works. And I also want to uh, talk with you uh, today and provide details uh, about ICOs. So why were ICO experiment failed? So we uh, was a witness uh, this uh, same problem in the crypto and blockchain startup market, uh, ICO market. So actually, uh, if you consider the ICO boom in 2016-17, uh, uh, the main reasons for the market collapse were a large number of spam project, sc scam projects, uh, mob mentality causing people to invest in projects they didn't understand. So people just... Uh, uh, didn't make any research, uh, we just didn't uh, look around, we didn't check the white papers, uh, no any fundamental analysis or even technical analysis if uh, we're coin already tradable. We just join and uh, follow a crowd and uh, usually this crowd uncontrolled. Today we want uh, uh, to invest, to, tomorrow we want uh, to sell it and sell uh, future amounts of the tokens. And this is how uh, a pump and dump works. And this is how actually many projects was ruined by the crowd. So um, uh, result was actually predictable. And uh, according to the research company Xangle, um, more, more than 57 uh, percent of uh, United States investors uh, feel misled. Uh, yet they invested money or their own valuation into ICOs guided mainly by the former effect. This is what mob mentality is because uh, by this uh, picture you can see what actually most of the people joined only uh, by the leading uh, of, from the friends, family members, uh, and the people like that uh, surrounded. So it's actually uncontrolled crowd. And uh, like no, uh, only few people uh, doing own research 
and going deeper. But our just follow where uh, advices and the recommendations of our others people. So uh, let's take a look uh, for examples of cooperation in the world what actually have a, a good uh, potential and we can uh, tell about them what it, it's actually successful stories. Uh, cooperation uh, actually uh, will extend to areas such as IT, uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency, agriculture, finance, and we can uh, go more and more in many industries because Without cooperation, we know everything will be ruined and not structured. If it's not structured, uh, it can go forward and don't uh, don't have availability any kind of development. So uh, let's take a look for examples of blockchain cooperation. Uh, actually, uh, consortiums are prime examples of uh, cooperation in the blockchain world. Cooperation along with blockchain solutions. Uh, provides new opportunities for humanity. And for, uh, for it's now possible to remove the last remaining middlemen and uh, replace them with smart contracts. Uh, where several consortiums uh, today, uh, here are a few examples, uh, for example, a blockchain investors consortium. Uh, it currently has more than 120 members uh, with more than 6 billion in digital assets under management in the group. Uh, also, uh, we can talk about Libra. It's a, also a good cooperation model. Uh, uh, actually, about Libra, uh, we can uh, say what it uh, was official. Uh, it was actually, because right now uh, we see what this story actually post right now. I'm pretty sure what post uh, and it will continue in the future. But uh, at the start, Facebook actually um, uh, cooperated and uh, connected uh, many, many big players around the world, uh, around the world. We, we remember it was uh, many banks. Uh, it was a uh, uh, huge uh, banking cards players like Visa, MasterCard. Uh, so they all, all joined this initiative because they all understand uh, because uh, understand what from this cooperation and this consortium, we actually successfully can launch this Libra project and reach a huge audience of uh, Facebook and actually WhatsApp and uh, Instagram. Uh, it's around 2 billion people around the world, so it's huge. Also, a good example uh, of consortium is IBM Food Trust. Uh, uh, so uh, this is a combination of several companies uh, what use blockchain technology. Uh, so uh, we know actually what IBM uh, have a special department uh, what actually uh, develops many blockchain projects and products for uh, uh, business for uh, final customers. So B2B and B2C solutions. And uh, uh, IBM Food Trust actually consortium includes uh, food producers, translators, and consumers among uh, when Walmart and Nestle. So uh, we know Walmart and Nestle, uh, it's a huge players, global players and uh, product producers. And they actually uh, joined this IBM Food Trust uh, due to uh, the general profitability and uh, the uh, de development uh, perspectives what provides this consortium. So for all its platform, IBM Food Trust platform, uh, additionally, businesses can track the way of, uh, food from supplier to consumer. So again, about Libra, uh, just a couple of words, it's stable coin created by Facebook founder Mike Zuckerberg. So he brought together 27 uh, companies actually uh, in the single alliance. Uh, so it was included Coinbase, uh, Shopify, Spotify, PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, eBay, uh, Booking, and other associations. So it was a really good and huge example how uh, cooperation and actually uh, 
cooperation model uh, in in the groups uh, and connecting to to the groups from uh, with big companies actually benefit uh, uh, one one company in this group and actually benefit all uh, group members and whole consortium. Uh, so how actually cooperation on the blockchain and cryptocurrency market works? So uh, it's always uh, works about one main project. Uh, for example, let's take a Libra. So Libra was concentrated around Facebook. It was a main project, uh, main product, and based on Facebook uh, was created Libra Association. So. I, uh, and after that, around the Libra, where was a uh, uh, cooperative members around. So, uh, and they um, have a cooperation uh, with Libra and Facebook uh, about like providing uh, uh, some um, transfers, providing uh, availability to buy final products with this Libra uh, stable coin. So uh, again, if you look for a scheme of a, a distribution, uh, always it works around one company, and it goes from the uh, from the company it goes to another participants, and from uh, another participants finally it uh, go goes uh, deeper to final customers who actually use final product uh, in in Libra situation it's a stable coin so. And it's not even the final product because uh, stable coin is just currency. So after that, we go in uh, deeper and we can buy some goods. For example, in PayPal, we can convert with stable coin to PayPal currency. Uh, if, for example, with um, a Walmart or Nestle, we can buy actually the final product, final food in grocery store in Walmart. Uh, so how a blockchain cooperation market will develop in the future? Uh, so here's a, uh, my colleague Edward. Uh, he can explain more uh, about a TGDAO uh, launchpad and uh, show you how uh, practically uh, this project want to implement the uh, scheme of cooperation and make um, a good platform and market uh, really trustworthy uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency based cooperation market for the uh, partners around it and for final customers. Hello everyone. I'm really glad to, to be here and represent the project which uh, uh, very, uh, very close to my to my main of uh, next step of uh, social development because cooperation it's uh, on my opinion it's uh, really next uh, step which uh, next uh, next uh, way to go from from such huge such uh, wide uh, prizes that we have in uh, around the world um i am uh, advisor also in uh, project TGDAO 3.0 and try to represent it. Uh, thank you for the Dmitry for very uh, comprehensive uh, introduction of cooperation and the crypto market and uh, everything concerned uh, uh, crypto and cooperate cooperation and decentralized uh, autonomous organizations and okay um i try to uh, explain a little about uh tgdao 30 as a place in the dao market uh tgdao is the next step in the evolution of decentralized autonomous organization the project is owned by its participants managed by its participants and generates income for its participants. TigiDAO is focusing on solving uh, projects, uh, problems that occur when the launch plan is in cooperation, when creating, implementing, and developing startups, 
when investors try to choose a startup to invest and get an allocation. The TGDAO 3.0 ecosystem approach is making a significant contribution to the development on the, of the cryptocurrency, crypto industry, and propelling startups investing into new uh, levels of profitability and reliability. Um, uh, I, I want to say that uh, we choose uh, projects uh, which is uh, definitely very, very uh, helpful exactly for uh, social, mo most social and economical. Uh, and this uh, will be next step of, uh, uh, of development of the society. Uh, DAOs and their purpose. Uh, I want to uh, explain a little about the purposes of DAOs. Uh, the TG DAO 30 launchpad works for in the DAO model. DAO, decentralized autonomous organization, is an organization that operates autonomously and according to rules prescribed in smart contracts. Uh, I want to say that smart contracts, it's uh, very, very helpful now and uh, uh, definitely uh, uh, give to avoid uh, any misunderstanding, any, um, any human uh, mistakes, because uh, it's, uh, uh, it's understandable, it's automatic for everyone who take part, part in, uh, in uh, organization, in decentralized organization. With no need to human invention and or centralized organization, DAOs and are often uh, referred to a system without trust. Uh, it's next level of trust because uh, uh, rules, uh, very clear and very um, very understandable uh, and as a uh, continue what the uh, features of tgdao 30 our solution is to set the launch part so as an element of the ecosystem uh, launch part it's it's not all uh, what we uh, want to aim, we create uh, ecosystem and uh, uh, launch part in the uh, one of element of this. And our solution is to set the launch part up as an this element. <clears throat> TGDAO 3.0 is being developed uh, in line with the TG ecosystem DAO 3.0 strategic development plan and is an integral part of the ecosystem. Uh, key features of the ecosystem is the decision-making system. Very important uh, to, to put the motivation uh, settings uh, between uh, participants of uh, ecosystem and uh, uh, for, for, for getting the common uh, <clears throat> meanings, common understanding so for the same the same things the same uh, 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 the same meaning the same uh, uh, understanding uh, technological tools uh, definitely uh, we have a very interesting decision in technology uh, to in uh, technic tools and uh, We'll show it uh, later. Infrastructural tools also. What it means, decision-making system. Retail investors, crypto users, influencers, and other market participants from group of different levels with the help of TGDAO 3.0, which is capable to put in forward, discussing and making decision about investing in any particular project on its own, on its own uh, meaning and understanding. The groups can make decisions in several ways, 
Schulze consensus, consensus minus one, or using a simple majority method. It uh, would be, would be uh, depend on on the group on the community which uh, will uh, cluster in uh, uh, inside the TGDAO. According to the decentralization decentralization principle, decisions are made independent of the central authority, applying the hierarchical centralization principle when executing decision gives the control transparency and confidence that their decision will be implemented. Um, it's, uh, for my opinion, it's very, very uh, uh, important, uh, important feature for the, for the ecosystem and for the developing of the ecosystem. Technological tools. Uh, uh, one of these is in-house blockchain. The TG ecosystem DAO infrastructure is built on a blockchain foundation. The development team has developed its own blockchain solution, TG blockchain, which meets the current and future requirements of the community ecosystem. Why is so important to have uh, in-house blockchain because it's uh, it's security, it's uh, uh, avoiding uh, the vulnerability of system, not uh, avoid the lose the uh, data uh, from the outside uh, uh, using the blockchain. Uh, Next one technological tool is TG Finance. With the help of the TG blockchain, the TG ecosystem DAO's reserve development team is building its own financial system, which will be used as a basis for the decentralized finance platform that is integrated into the traditional uh, financial world. Uh, we uh, think here about the uh, two circuits of uh, uh, of finance uh, it's inside finance and outside finance and uh, this uh, financial system it's uh, existed uh, independently and uh, uh, a very correct uh, way to collaborate when it's necessary and uh, not uh, influence to each other. The system will easily integrate advanced blockchain bringing technologies, making it possible to use all top cryptocurrencies without paying significant fees. <clears throat> because it's uh, also very important when, uh, when uh, in uh, ecosystem would be enough for too, too, much, too much people, too much participants, uh, too much projects, uh, the uh, transaction inside, inside would be maybe 100,000 uh, per day or maybe millions and uh, very important uh, to uh, make it uh, easy, to make it uh, cheaper, uh, maybe in future free. Joint accounts. The combination of social and financial tools within the TG ecosystem DAO 30 enable the creation of completely unique joint account functionality. Uh, means this group which uh, of participants which will be take part uh, in, in projects uh, will have the common accounts, joint accounts. Uh, and uh, uh, they uh, will have the uh, much for freedom for for dec decide how or to to develop this project. The combination will, with its help, groups and participants accumulate accumulate funds for investment, collectively make decisions on investment in particular particular uh, startups 
and control both the stage of financing and the intended use of funds to start up by startup teams. This approach ensured uh, a balanced uh, investment policy based on groups collective thinking that uh, I'm talking before. Infrastructural tools, tools. TG ecosystem DAOs Azure relies on cooperative nodes and as points of presence in the physical world. In each country, a national cooperative node and a network of local cooperative nodes, nodes are created. Thanks to blockchain technology, the cooperative nodes uh, bring crypto investment into sectors of the physical world corner. On TGDAO 3.0, investor can now simultaneously invest in both crypto and conventional startups. Uh, really, uh, the uh, launch part TGDAO, uh, it's uh, crypto uh, tools and uh, uh, real uh, world uh, projects, which uh, will be um, developed uh, much more effective effectively and uh, each participant can make uh, can be much more effective uh, in uh, in this environment which we uh, create which we develop now uh, tokenomics of tgdao Launchpad DAO 3.0 tokenomics involved two tokens, TGDAO and uh, wrapped Genero. TGDAO, this token uh, entitles an account to receive allocation for subsequent investment in Launchpad DAO 3.0 startups. It's like a ticket for, for the allocation, which uh, will give the possibility to to take part in, in uh, startup on launch part. And wrapped uh, Genio, uh, a wrapped version, version of uh, Genio, uh, it's token of for uh, TG ecosystem. This token is for buying and selling allocation in large part projects. Uh, here uh, you can check the roadmap which we uh, develop and which we try to be successful. First quarter of 2021, building up the concept and the team, seed round. Quarter two. 2021 partners exchange investment funds building up the infrastructure building up the government and uh, governance uh, methodology uh, quarter three website website version one account metamask smart contract quarter four private sale ido listing digital tokens on exchanges launching the bridge version uh, version one zero Quarter 1, 2022, launch fundraising for online startups, launch fundraising for offline startups, version 1.04, bridge version 1.1, 1, 1, account version 1.1, 1, 1, adding additional blockchain nets such as EOS, Cardano, Polkadot, Waves, Tezos, listing the tokens on of startups on crypto exchange. The second generation of the TGDAO 3.0 venture fund regist registration. Quarter two, 2022. Startup school. It's very interesting. Should be DeFi version 1.0, Bridge version 2.0. Quarter three, 2021. P2P allocation market for purchasing and selling. DeFi version 2.0. Uh, zero trade and futures credit financing margin trading uh, 
uh, use like crypto derivatives, something like this. <clears throat> Quarter four, 2022. TG Finance Hybrid Sex Dex Exchange, centralized exchange, de decentralized exchange. Personal crypto wallet, what supports depositing, withdrawing fiat money. That's our big, big, big way. Uh, thank you for, <clears throat> for your attention and uh, we are open to cooperating with startups, retail and institutional investors and invest influencers. Please join us. I hope uh, uh, we will be, I believe we will be very successful in the future, in the nearest future. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. We'll be in touch, hope. We help fund, build, and localize tech startups in the world's most promising regions. Cinefy is a one-stop solution for tech companies trying to make sense of China and Southeast Asia. Check out more at cinefy.group.
Welcome to the Theta Network. Earn T-Fuel crypto rewards simply by watching live streams and videos. As you watch and share with others, you're contributing to the decentralized Theta Network, all powered by Theta's native blockchain. Discover the future of video delivery at thetanetwork.org. and bulls are the two driving forces of the crypto market depending on who buys and who sells the bear is superpower is to make money even when the market is down their strategy is selling short and provoking a supply increase the bull the whole bull's life is dealings for a rise his main goal is a growing market bull is optimistic and pluckily beats first The confrontation of bulls and bears lasts forever, and as its price depends on who leads the fight. XIP ecosystem is designed to decentralize the internet and overcome monopolistic control over domain names and top-level domains. A blockchain DNS solution where agnostic NFTs preferred by you identifies your domain and top-level domain. XIP token is an agnostic usage and governance token released initially based on the Binance chain. Except tokens will be used to buy, sell and auction domains at top level domains, while token holders will get staked when domains and TLDs are purchased and auctioned. generating methods don't allow publishers and businesses to offer an enjoyable ad-free browsing experience. We need a new solution that brings everything together to benefit businesses and users alike. That's why we made Gather. Gather is a blockchain-based network that improves the online experience for users, generates additional revenue for publishers, reduces cloud computing costs for enterprises, and makes running a proof-of-work blockchain easier. 
Instead of spamming users with ads to generate revenue, Gather runs in the background of your site and with each user's consent, aggregates their idle processing power. Then it distributes said power to enterprises for cloud computing and to developers for cryptocurrency mining. Publishers receive payment in cryptocurrency or fiat, users get to enjoy an ad-free browsing experience, and developers deploy their secure blockchains without the need to find new miners. Ultimately, it's a virtuous cycle that radically changes digital monetization and revenue generation to provide a superior experience for the end user. Join Gather today to be a part of the future. So now the time for the next speaker is Oleg Bevs, the Marketing Director of Blockster. Welcome. Uh, hey guys, my name is Oleg. I am marketing director of Blockster. And today I'm going to speak about how crypto is taking over the world and uh, how companies and projects can attract mass customer. But you know, now I will talk about all this, but uh, to be honest, around uh, 2017, four years ago, I would say you know guys, uh, it's a case for half a year, like it's a bubble, I don't believe in it, you shouldn't invest no money, no time, no energy there. And uh, I think, I believe that uh, uh, because I've changed my opinion, because I'm, um, I walk through all this uh, path uh, uh, from hater to fan of crypto industry, I can be uh sincerely i can be like i can speak sincerely i can speak uh, objectively and uh, discuss on such topic as how all all mass audience can become uh, a crypto fans and how crypto will uh like uh, integrate to our regular lives um so I won't touch the topic about product solutions, about new technologies and new decentralization concepts. No, I will uh, leave these uh, topics to the guys who can speak about this much, much more deeper. Um, I'm going to talk about much another thing uh, from about the another side, uh, another side of the coin, you know, right? I want to talk about um, uh, how uh, is, uh, crypto can affect on uh, social factor, right? Because uh, mass audience, uh, wide community, how I call it, uh, they need some kind of shakeup. Yes, yeah, they've been waiting for it for a long time and they think it's a key factor why uh, crypto can become a really mass product. Um, because, uh, you know, during the 20s and 21st centuries, our humanity perfectly redistributed uh, money, influence, uh, power, and uh, success, and the way how we achieve this success, right? And 90% uh, um, of people from their childhood, they know how their life will be, who, who, who they will be, etc. And uh, finally, right uh, some years ago, crypto came and said, okay guys, uh, now you can do what you want. You can change the rules, you can change the rules how society live, you can change the rules how uh, you live, you can change the rules how your country live, you can express your opinion, you can, uh, and you can make money. Like uh, all you guys can come here and make money uh, without no kind of uh, background experience, uh, just came here and earn. And uh, I think it's extremely cool. And that's why all this mass audience will come more and more because uh, all these opportunity seekers who tired, who want some kind of revolution, uh, they will come to the crypto industry and more and more people will come to change something. Uh, and uh, 
till the time when all mass audience, mass customer, mass community will uh, jump into our industry. And what we have to understand, we have to understand that from our side, we should be ready for changes because uh, when a bigger part of society will come to our industry, the industry will change, will be changed. Whether we want this, whether we don't want this, uh, it's fact and we should be ready. And uh, my speech, what I will talk about today is how projects, uh, how products, companies can act, what they should do to capture this mass audience and uh, grow to something really significant, really big. So let's start. Um, I will start with the first point as build ecosystems. Uh, you know, uh, in our crypto industry, there is a bunch of very cool projects that solve a certain task. Yeah, so, but it's really cool. But it, at the same time, it makes uh, our um, industry really niche one. Uh, because if we look, for example, on uh, top 10 from Forbes list or top 100, right, we will see that the biggest companies right now, it's some kind of aggregators, the companies that monopolized something, some kind of sphere, some kind of industry, some kind of niche. Uh, what I mean, if we look, for example, on Apple, um, we will look on it and we'll, we'll see that they want to monopolize everything considering your devices, like uh, in your office, in your home, in your car. You should, during your walk, during your sport life, you should all the time use Apple. They want to build this ecosystem of your life. The same thing with Google, that uh, they want to capture everything that you do in the web. Uh, like Netflix, they want to monopolize your video entertainment experience, films, movie series, serials, everything. Like, uh, if you want, to entertain with some kind of video, you will definitely go to Netflix. Um, the same thing with uh, your fridge, your home, your kitchen, your bathroom. Uh, the companies like Unilever and Nestle, they captured all this and you can leave just buying these brands, these companies, um, etc. So the Amazon wants to monopolize your shopping overall, like uh, fridge, car, uh, wine in the store near your house, everything. And we have to understand that it's the future. It's how crypto industry should look and will look. Yeah, we have uh, some kind of, some examples of uh, um, uh, ecosystem projects, but uh, it's really a small number for the industry that pretends to change the world. And uh, I think uh, for Apple, it will be very boring to exist without Google. That's right. So the second point is quite close to the first one. It's go offline. You know that, uh, um, of course, trend on crypto together with trend of digitalization, they are moving forward, forward really fast, but we still have to think that we are living into the real world, into the offline world. Uh, for example, in Ukraine, it's extremely great case. Uh, when I uh, drive through the main streets of our capital, I see a lot of uh, big billboards with the local exchange, crypto exchange, right? And I see that uh, usually such banners are covered with some kind of uh, Gucci advertisement. Here is crypto. I can uh, go away from home and there will be two different banks and some kind of ATM where, where I can come with cash and buy ether of Bitcoin. And it's extremely 
like something unbelievable, for example, for in uh, 2017, 2018, 2019, like uh, these things appeared really, really like uh, uh, some time ago, some months ago. And uh, I think that uh, companies, projects, uh, businesses, products, they should uh, keep in mind that, uh, yeah, digitalization, crypto, web, it's really cool, like the life in smartphone, etc. But we still live in the offline world. And, uh, you know, I'm working in marketing for uh, seven years. And when I've started, everybody talked that uh, digital ads will kill TV commercial. And that's right. Uh, digital ads is killing commercial right now, but on the other hand, when you walked uh, on the street, you every 10 minutes, every five minutes, one minute, you see billboards in front of your nose and you can do nothing with it. And uh, that's a factor why we, why we have to keep in mind, why we have to remember that we shouldn't forget about the, what we have outside our gadgets, devices. Uh, the next point is about uh, uh, making friends. You know that uh, uh, in crypto industry, there is a lot of different people who are really do, who really uh, do the great things like journalists and authors who collect millions of views, uh, different uh, influencers who attract a huge audience, uh, those guys who create events and those guys who come to these events, uh, those guys who caught products and those guys who uh, promote them and sell coins on a billion dollars. And we have to understand that if we speak about changing in future, if we speak about how the world will live with crypto, it's not uh, a task for one man or one company. It's a task for all of us. We can't, nobody can do it alone. And uh, it's the kind of things that uh, should be done together. The first point is quite similar, quite close to the first and the second. It's about refurbishing classic solutions, as they called, uh, because uh, you can still look what there are in non-crypto economy and bring it to new crypto economy. And uh, different people, different companies, different consumers will need some kind of new solutions. And in this case, we have to keep in mind that uh, we can go to the classic world, see what cannot work into the new economy, crypto economy, and bring it. Uh, for example, like we did with Blockstar, we understood that current social network experience is uh, very hard, very uncomfortable. Uh, you follow different opinion leaders on Twitter, you uh, take part in different communities in uh, Telegram, uh, you follow different authors, uh, you read the publications, media, etc. You have some kind of coin trackers like uh, coin market cap and the blockfolio and so many different things around the all web to uh, you have to keep in mind to uh, engage with and we decided to bring it to really one to really one place to all in one platform for crypto blockster and uh, we found that it can make the people's lives the crypto uh, enthusiasts' lives much, much more easier because you can make connections, read news, find investors, uh, track portfolios, all in one place. And from other side, we saw you guys like uh, project owners and um, business owners, entrepreneurs who have your coins, your projects, your product, and you want to promote them to mass crypto audience. But 
At the same time, different Facebooks, Instagram, TikToks, Google, they banned and make, put restrictions. We allowed uh, you, we allowed the different companies' projects to launch ads on all social, uh, on all the uh, crypto community in our social network. And I think this thing is a great case how we can act more. Um, the next point is about simplicity. Simplicity is really, really important thing. Yeah, I know that uh, like we have a lot of uh, uh, great uh, UX projects with good interface, with nice designs, with, which is really easy to use, but at the same time, it's really hard to use. What I mean? Um, you know that uh, our industry is built for uh, these, those guys who are understand at least something in this industry. It's logical. Uh, like crypto guys create products from crypto guys and it's okay. Like it's cool, it's how we grow, how new uh, customers, new users come to our industry, that's fine. But at the same time, we have to understand that we have some kind of small town John for whom it's really, really hard to understand all this, but at the same time, he has money. So from one side, we have John, who don't understand all this uh, uh, 30 uh, numbers, uh, wallets, uh, who don't understand how blockchain transaction works, how to buy crypto via exchanges, even with spot market uh, or converter. He doesn't understand it, but at the same time, he has money. Yeah, personally, I know of some kind of people like taxi driver, an employee of metallurgical plant, uh, um, the worker, the master in, that works in beauty industry. They all mm, uh, downloaded Binance, but that's all. So they have money, they have desire to put this money in our industry, and but they can't, but they don't know how. Like, uh, and here is the thing, the first company that will understand, that will find solution, how to communicate with all these uh, small town Johns and offer them solution to dive in our industry, but without having knowledge how to earn on it, that's fine. For them, it's just start. It's already okay. These projects, these, these products will earn extremely uh, a lot of money. Right. So the more people, the more mass audience with money, and it's a really huge number of such people who has money, but they don't know how to start. The first who will understand how to solve their need, this company, this product will earn really a lot. Uh, and the final point uh, from my side is uh, still think local, right? Uh, I know that uh, uh, target audience of uh, our project's target audience uh, is from South Africa, Germany, UK, Canada, Russia, Japan, China, US, uh, Italy, Austria, like uh, Australia, all over the world. And that's cool. That's how we make uh, the thing uh, global. That, that's fine. But at the same time, you have to rent office, you have to hire employees, you have to be sure, sure that your government won't come to your office and won't close it. You should uh, network, you should educate yourself, you should be able to uh, put cash and receive crypto in uh, like uh, half an hour, uh, right at the place where you are now. And uh, it's your job, in fact, to also affect on this, to grow your community, to grow the place where you are, uh, because it really, really, really affects 
how our uh, industry grows. And this will help you to grow with this industry because uh, it will create more opportunities for you. Uh, I think that's all from my side. Uh, thanks. Uh, and uh, the final point from me, uh, I believe that uh, Amazon and Google in crypto industry uh, didn't appear yet and maybe won't be created uh, like in uh, next 10 years. But when it will happen, it will be too late for all of us. Thanks. So, dear friends, the third and last English day of our summit has ended. Next, there are two amazing Russian days. <laughs> I would like to thank all viewers and brilliant speakers who are joining us. We all did an enormous job to make this summit happen. And if you can speak Russian, welcome to join next two days. Summit organizers are the blockchain consultancy Calibri group, the cryptocurrency calendar, coindar.org, and Cinefy group. Summit so organizers as a Commission on Blockchain Technologies and Digital Economy of the All Russian Public Organization, Investment Russia, and popular YouTube channels, Cryptos and Sexy BDC. Our diamond sponsors are Algorand and Arpa Chain. Our gold sponsors are Gazer, Bella Protocol, CPI Technologies, Biconomy, and Veracity. Our key partners are Exmo, Zeta Network, and Cita TV, Freeton and Ton Labs, Dalio, Voxster, PR.io, Estar, PGDAO, DAO.vc, Bing Crypto, Bingbon, J2TX, Trustbase, Data.io, and of course, Binance. Synopsis 2021 has opened the interactive zone under the Synergies section at Coindar.org, where cryptocurrency projects hold contents and quizzes. So visit coindar.org and join them. There are prizes ready for you guys. Don't miss the opportunity to get some cool prizes. So thank you for attention. If you know Russian, you can join Synopsis tomorrow and the day after and see the Russian speakers as well. So the Russian days are going to be fun. Same as always. So I'm Maxim Sukhanosik. Bye.
We help fund, build, and localize tech startups in the world's most promising regions. Cinefy is a one-stop solution for tech companies trying to make sense of China and Southeast Asia. Check out more at cinefy.group. Welcome to the Theta Network. Earn T-Fuel crypto rewards simply by watching live streams and videos. As you watch and share with others, you're contributing to the decentralized Theta Network, all powered by Theta's native blockchain. Discover the future of video delivery at thetanetwork.org. Bears and bulls are the two driving forces of the crypto market, depending on who buys and who sells. The bear is superpower is to make money even when the market is down. Bear's strategy is selling short and provoking a supply increase. The bull, the whole bull's life is dealings for a rise. His main goal is a growing market. Bull is optimistic and pluckily beats first. The confrontation of bulls and bears lasts forever, and as its price depends on who leads the fight. Exmo, choose the strategy 